Ah, the city of Roundabout. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi there, uh, Geo Rigio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. Hmm. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See. There's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin, instead of fighting it. People, small obstacles, nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for buildings, lampposts, you know, things taller than a limousine. But, but against everything else, unstoppable. Well, I guess you passed. Barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. With a limo license, the world was Giorgio's oyster. Passengers everywhere would experience a true revolution in transportation, but at what cost? Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. This spinning thing is even better from the inside. This, this is the future of transportation. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Okay, okay, you just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. Driver? I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized pals to school.
Can we keep going, please? Pretty, please? Oh, fine. I'm heading to the school's baseball field. Oh, it's you. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. Yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and buildings, but they can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, kids, listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Bring it home! Home run! Alright kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! Giorgio, the school's demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. You seem like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? my date down the road. Well, uh, I mean, we're seeing a movie after, but, well, she's just meeting me. Oh gosh. <laughs> She's allergic to flowers. Damn it, Steve, you ruined everything. Hi. Hi. Uh let's let's go, driver. So, uh, you like movies? Yeah, movies are okay. You like movies? Yeah, I love movies. What about you? Uh... Th 
thanks. So do I pay you now or later? Or do I, oh! Thanks, Giorgio. Wait, you got a limo to drive us to the driving theater? Damn it, Steve. Giorgio was beginning to get the hang of this whole limousine for hire thing. Little did Giorgio know that a curveball was about to land in the back seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Are you, you're Giorgio? Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm running a little behind. You see, uh, Julia's wedding is at 11, not 1, so we need to book it. Let's go, Giorgio! Thank you so much. Hey, so I'm only in town for a little bit, but I could sure use a groovy driver like you to show me around. And hey, having someone in uniform take me for a spin around town would be a pretty groovy bonus, right? Bless you, my child. We appear to have something of a problem. I am meant to be joining two people in holy matrimony, but we appear to be missing the groom. We must fetch him, post haste. Oh, I knew this would be a bad one. This gentleman seemed disreputable from the start. Such a shame. The bride is such a peach. She can definitely do a lot better. I think I see him. We'll pass him and I'll drag him in. We got him. Head back to the church. Thank you, my son. This hungover wreck will marry the lovely Julia, and it's all thanks to us. No, no, I can't do this. New plan, Giorgio. I drop this wreck off in front of the church, and you drop me off at the bus stop up north. Sound reasonable? Oh, don't give me that judgmental stare. Would you marry these two if you were in my shoes? Well, I had a good run, I reckon. What's done is done. Lord, forgive me for abandoning my flock. Uh, good luck to you, Giorgio. Well, I suppose it's time to move again. I hear the mountains are lovely this time of year. Bonjour, Giorgio. No, no, I will not be riding with you today. I am, how you say, watching from afar. I have heard stories about a new driver with a certain je ne sais quoi. Care to show me your magics? 
information I needed, my foolish friend. A revolving chauffeur. Of course, it is brilliant. I'll be a celebrity. My gift to you, Giorgio, is that when I take over the world as the best revolving limousine driver, I will crush your precious limousine last. Solo. Sucker. chauffeur. I have a task that needs attending to in my suburban getaway. I do it myself, but I'm stuck in the city attending these blasted meetings. If you could pop by and take care of a few things, everyone here at Maximilian Enterprises would be most grateful. Fantastic, my room. 
revolving friend. If you were ever in the city of Roundabout, stop by my fantastic tower and say hello. <laughs> you called. So, where are we going on our date? Okay, okay, no pressure. How about we just start off simple? How about we go to the mall? It's just down the road. I heard it's the second biggest mall in Brown. It even has a food court. Let's get out of this park.
love this place. Ducks, trees. <sighs> I feel like I can really be myself here. Thanks so much, Giorgio. You're, you're real special. Call me soon, okay? Oh my goodness, you've come at just the right time. Shh, look, it's an incredibly rare straight lurping hover eagle. Nobody's seen it in 50 years. Quick, we need to tag it before something bad happens. Follow that eagle! My god, look at that majesty! What a noble creature! Endangered bird hunting committee. We've got to stop them. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's the only way to protect our environment. Okay, I think that does it. Wow, look at that beautiful bird. Wow. Thank you, Giorgio. The Parks Department and Nature thanks you. driver please to take me to the soccer Chris yes yes you've got it let us going Georgie This is not right. Take me to soccer base. Make a joke at me, Georgie? Soccer, Chris? Oh, boy! to the bus depot. Oh, Giorgio. I know. It's hard for me to go home too. But we can have this one last ride together. At least for now. Let's go, Giorgio. Man, remember that time we were at the park? And that duck? Good times, Giorgio. 
You should come visit for a weekend. I hear they even have a new revolving guy just like you. Well, he's French Canadian, but hey, you can't have everything, right? Yeah, just here at the depot. You know, you could come with me and move to the city. I mean, I'm sure you'd do swell in the big city and I'd... Well, it's kind of selfish, but I'd really just like to have you all to myself, all the time. If you ever change your mind, give me a call. I'll be waiting, at least for a while. Kid, you're a sight for sore eyes. Does this mean what I think it means? Fantastic! Well, kid, I think it's time we moved on to some bigger fish. Let me show you the way into the city. Hey, look out! You're gonna love the city, kid. Fast streets, fat businessman wallets, and I'm telling you, it's easy street. Highway construction. Kid, it's time to break some rules. Ready to take your driving to another level? Nice work. Now, this last step is all up to you. Just drive through that tunnel to Roundabout City. Once you get through, come meet up with me. We'll take on this town together. I knew you'd come around, kid. Look, I've got the perfect plan. Just take me to Chinatown and I'll take care of the rest. Just, just follow the arrow, Giorgio. Man, this kid sometimes. Just up here in the alley, kid. Nice one. You and me, kid, we're gonna go far. Stick with me, and this city will be yours inside of a week. Leo! Just the man I need. Got a job that only your hands are good for. Hi, quick, quick, let's get going. I've got to get to City Hall. It's a matter of life and death. Go! Well, maybe not death, but... And now that you mention it, not real life.
but City Hall, that's 100% right. Perfect, let's do this. Thanks so much. We did good today. We did a real good thing. Ah, hello again, my revolving fellow. I'm late for my inspection of the Maximilian Towers construction site. Chop chop. Yes, this is coming along splendidly. I can't even see what that blasted mayor disliked. To the alley, Jeeves. Mr. Mayor, thank you for your discretion. This whole construction fatalities matter. I'm sure this fine suitcase will set things straight. Onwards, Jeeves. It's time for a well-earned vacation on my yacht. <laughs> Ugh. West Roundabout is so gaudy. I barely can stand passing through. Thank you kindly, Jeeves. I'll just wait here for my yacht. Telly ho, pip pip, ta ta, and all that. You made it out to the city. As am I, Giorgio. Bonjour, Elizabeth. Ugh, is this that Ronaldo guy that you were telling me about? Wait, how does he even hear what I'm saying? None of that's important right now, young mademoiselle. 
What is important is that your revolving Moor is trespassing on Ronaldo country. Hey, Giorgio invented revolving. You think stealing it is going to achieve anything? You'll never be as good as Giorgio. Ho ho! I'm already the best, and I'll prove it. Just try and beat me to upper roundabout. This shall be uproarious. You've got this, baby. Teach this Eiffel turkey a lesson! While the pedestrian right-of-way laws may be black as a roundabout, and destroying someone's car is tantamount to treason. and leave us grown adults alone. Ronaldo, over and out. It's okay. We made it here alive. Just, just hang in there, okay? Don't, don't do anything rash. We got this, okay? Look at me. We got this. Hey mate, thanks for the ride. I got a Bonza soccer game going up north. Yeah, mate. Up north? Take me for a ride up to the park? Cheers, mate. I was gonna chuck a Siki, but you know, I figure whatever. May as well play around. Yeah, just uh, chuck the ball in one of those goals over there. Cheers, mate. Sweet ass. Okay, mate, get me back to my place up the hill. I've got an S full of VD with my name on it. Mate, you are a dead set legend. Cheers. <laughs> 